today I have um, come down to the Illinois River here at Shore Acres Park. Um, it's a spot that I like to come to many times um, and uh, lately I've been shooting a lot of pinhole photography. Um, currently I'm trying to work on some underwater pinhole photography and that's what I'm choosing to do today. So I thought I would take you along to see uh, kind of some of my experiments, what works, what doesn't work. Today I'm using my Ondu 6x6. Um, I'm shooting some Ilford Delta 100 and I kind of like it for the river because sometimes under the water it's a little bit darker. I'm still working out the exposures, uh, but hey, that's the best part of pinhole photography. It is raining a little bit, so uh, hopefully it will hold off and uh, the water is up just a little bit, but we still got enough room to walk along the beach and just gonna see what we can. Uh, the first thing that I've had to do when I have um, decided that I wanna try some uh, underwater pinhole photography to see kind of what it would look like. Um, first of all, um, my inspiration in this is a uh, photographer by the name of Martha Kasanov. I hope, Kasanave, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, anyway, she was doing four by five um, photography, uh, pinhole photography, using an underwater casing that she made. I'm not that crafty, so I just went to the local hardware store and I got this, um, it's a, something that you can put into a fish tank. I didn't want to carry a bulky, big fish tank, so I'm trying this. Um, yes, the plastic does get some water spots on it, which makes it a little bit difficult, but we just try to see what we can do and, and have a little bit of fun. Um, so let's try it. One of the things I like to look for when I'm shooting pinhole photography, particularly out here on the river, is if I can find a composition that might have some leading lines, um, kind of leads your, your um, eyesight out to a particular um, subject or just an area of the photograph. I know this stick is not that big, but when you're shooting pinhole photography, sometimes the small objects, because of the infinite um, depth of field you, you kind of get, sometimes even the smallest objects can appear huge in the photograph. So right now I'm just taking this branch that fell into the, into the river and um, gonna kind of see what we can do with that. Sometimes what I like to do is uh, not use a tripod, but I'll get something, you know, maybe that I can put into the sand or not. We'll see how flat it is. I'm going to go ahead and take another one because that was a little shaky. So the first thing I do is I uh, make sure that the box is stable um, in the sand and um, then I try to put the uh, undo inside. Now, I don't get a lot of stability inside the box, and so sometimes when pictures come out shaky, um, I need to put a little something maybe in the bottom to try to work out and see if I can't get a little bit more stable, but um, this is kind of how it works. Now, as you can see, it's not exactly easy to try to get it up close to the front of the box because you don't want to have a reflection um, of the actual pinhole camera itself in the plastic, which is sometimes I'm finding that um, can happen, particularly on very bright days. But, um, you know, I just do what I can for right now and, and just have a little bit of fun with it. I'm going to go ahead and put the um, box in a little bit deeper and see what I can do. you can see it still kind of floats a little bit. All right. It 
So I'll try to get this and make sure that I keep it stable so it's not moving around in the box and see what we can come up with. Okay, so as I was filming that last segment, um, I heard this sound in the distance and I see a one of those tugboats um, or tow barges, you know, whatever you wanna call them, who knows? There's so many different things uh, that they're named around here. But anyways, I hear one coming down the river, so I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage and see if I can't get a shot uh, with that in the distance and the rocks and in the water and the under the water, um, all in the same shot. I don't know, wish me luck. at home and uh, see what we came up with now <laughs> one of the things that I've learned with pinhole and trying to do a little bit you know with under the underneath the water is that uh, these waves are coming in fast and strong and this does no good for me uh, when I'm trying to take my exposure so I'm gonna go ahead and get back up to a little bit higher part on the beach Well, that last shot was a little bit too close for comfort, but who knows? We may end up with something, we may not. Um, you know, Andu's pretty durable. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens. But anyways, I had fun. Um, I hope you might have learned a little bit of something um, when you go out and, and want to do some of your pinhole photography. And um, if you could, I would appreciate if you could push that subscribe button and I try to get more videos out on a regular basis, kind of what I do. Um, around here and, and out on my town. Thanks.